Yuri Rotstock has a special place in our hearts because this is the place where we began our love for the mountains together. Our first adventure here was the end of May 2017. Unfortunately, our lack of experience and physical preparation prevented us from being successful. We also attempted it in the winter, January 2019, but the snow was just too deep to reach the summit and we ran out of time because we only had a day there. attempt during the month of July 2020. We start our hike around noon. The weather is very nice and very hot, a bit humid. We plan to reach the summit around 6pm and then spend the night in a tent on the Im Lubutz Plateau. We are planning our stay over three days. We would like to conquer three summits. Yuri Rotstock on the first day and Elgenberg Rotstock and Wizigstock on the second day and return to our car on the third. How are you? Tired? Yeah, a bit. In Switzerland, in the low mountains, there are always many remote farms and chalets with plenty of animals. Whoa, a small one. Coming down, you see wrists under. What causes your blood vessels? Cattle and goats greet us as we pass by. They're gently nibbling on grass and frolicking on the hillside. It's surprising how in the Swiss Alps, farmers manage to exploit every square metre of land. Here in the winter, we didn't go this path, we went up around and there's a slope up there, but it was in the snow, so it was okay. And we went right round, but... Yeah. In the summer, you can't make it up there. Uh, we will follow the path this summer. Mm -hmm. right. So what are you doing? Uh, Filling my water bottle up so we can have water at the top. Because there may not be streams up there. Around this area, the trails are very well marked. There are numerous signposts indicating how long it will take to get to the specific place. The routes are marked by either red and white stripes or blue and white, painted on rocks along the way. The forecast said that we were supposed to have great weather, but actually we experienced different types of temperature along the way. At the beginning it was hot and humid, and as we reached higher up the clouds came rolling in and the wind whipped up in exposed areas. That is why it is always important to have warmer clothes with you, especially Gore-Tex in case of severe wind or downpour. Always be prepared. In winter there is a risk of an avalanche in this place, which is why you have to cross it as high as possible. At this time of year the landscape that unfolds before us is barren, completely different from what we have seen in winter conditions on a sunny day. In addition today, with clouds, it loses a lot of its radiance. Look, you see the hut? We are walking along a magnificent ridge left by a glacier, which unfortunately no longer exists, a visible result of the climate changes.
slightly exhausted by the heat, we decide to take a little break to eat and recuperate the energy for the next stage of our hike. After the break and a few shots with the drone, we feel better, invigorated and ready to continue to the top. Although it's already late, we don't mind, we will sleep nearby. But here is the blue. You see the blue mark? The trains are start oh, there. Right. That's where we went. Oh, are we? After more than a year of a break from the mountains, I'm a little apprehensive, but I draw on my resources and continue. Part of it is equipped with chains which make the climb easier and safer. Oh, here. Going on? You're right. scared. Why are you scared? Now, even now, you are scared? Huh? When you are sitting? I'm okay now, I'm sitting down. The ground now becomes slippery with small loose stones, making each step a bit dangerous and unpredictable. Wow! Yeah, it's good, huh? at the pass, the summit is in the clouds, so we use our drone to take some footage and to discover the path to the top. People can sleep here. Well, if I knew we could sleep here, oh, Pisa is beautiful. Wow, beautiful. Huh? Well, somebody was crossing here. Finally, on our third attempt, we have conquered the summit of Uri Rotstock. We can close the chapter opened over three years ago. We are very happy and motivated to continue our hike. It's time to descend and pitch our tent for the night. How was the day today? It was brilliant but scary. Oh. And I was suffering with breathing, I think. From altitude. And, but uh, we did it. We did it. Yeah, we got we, to Euriot stuck. Have we I'm achieved? I'm so pleased. Yes, we me did. too. Uh, for the first time. If you enjoyed the video, then click on like.